everyone, this is Bree Miles. Um, I had started a challenge, or I'm fixing to start a challenge. I have tried to do it once, and I messed up the recording, and it was all jumbled up. And half of it didn't record, and half of it did record, and it was recording when I didn't want to record, and so I messed it all up the first time around. So I'm starting again, and this is my family here that I'm going to start with, and they're the contestants. And this uh, series is going to be kind of, sort of like a game show. Um, there are eight contestants. All of them are young adults. And uh, they, I'm going to have them to do things as I draw a number. They will do uh, certain things. There's six challenges that they have to do. Well, they don't have to do all six, but there's six challenges that they can do. And the challenges will be based on um, will be based on what number you draw. So, what you would do, and I will write all this up. And if anyone would like to try it, just leave me a message in the box below, and I will uh, I will write it up and with all the rules and stuff, and and post it on the forms for you if you want if you want to try it. But like I said, this is new to me. I tried it once like just probably about 30 minutes and then I messed all the recording up so I had to start all over so but this is the family that I started with well not the family but this is the sims that I started with so I'm calling them the contestants so they are going to be the contestants in my challenge and I have a house built I worked on it all day today and I got it finished up and I built it on this lot here in Brindleton Bay um, so I'm going to, what I'm going to do is put these contestants on it, on this lot, and then I'm going to delete this lot, and I'm going to download the lot that I made. And uh, the house, I've, I'll have it on the gallery as soon as they get the gallery back up and running. But it is called the contestants house. And everything that you need for this challenge, or for these challenges, for this challenge period, is in this house I built. So let me go ahead and get the house set and we'll get started and I'll kind of go through the rules as we go along. Let's go ahead and set them here. Let's get some free real estate. So let's go ahead and drop them down here. We're going to have to give them some extra money because the lot is... Uh, you could set the lot and then do the free real estate. But I made those sims and then done the free real estate. Uh, let's just go ahead and pause it here because we need to not go there. We need to go into build mode. Well, before we go, we need to do them some. And I'm going to give them 600, and then that'll give them a little bit left over for the for the mail if they have to pay the bills. I don't know how much the bills will be on it. Okay, so we've got enough for the lot now because it's 529 or something, not a thousand. So let's go ahead and delete this. And now let's get my contestant lot. I hope that the gallery hasn't went down. And this is it. And it's 511,029 uh, simoleons. And it is on a 64 by 64 lot. Let's just go ahead and place it. Now, I don't have no cheats on placing it, so I hope everything placed right. I tried it uh, earlier, and it all worked. So that still gives them some money for the mail. Uh, probably going to... You don't have to do this, but I'm going to lessen theirs a little bit to give them... Now, that should be enough to keep the bills going while we play this game. So these are my contestants, and I'll give you a little rundown of what, uh, what they're names are and this is Blair uh, Brady he's contestant number one and with the contestants and with the rules this is what what I'm going to do is um, all the sims have to be young adult they have to be new sims with no skills uh, they either have to be all young adult or all of them have to be elders or all of them have to be adults you could probably do the teens with this, so all of them would have to be teens. But you don't want to mix and match. To make it fire, you want 
you know, I'll ever I'll have them to be the same age because it's it's kind of a sporty challenge, I suppose. It's some of it is anyway. So you don't want an elderly in with a teen or a young adult trying to keep up. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to just introduce you to all of them. Let's go back into live mode. So this year is Brady, uh, Blair Brady. This one here is. And this is Glenn Parsons. He's over here. This is Glenn. And we have Natasha here. And we have Brandy. Where are you, Brandy? This is Brandy here. And we have Paula. Yes, Paula is here. And um, and we have Jason. He's here with his eyes all closed. We have Michael here. And we have Lucy here. So that's my eight contestants. But anyways, these are the contestants. And this is like, I'm learning this as I go. I wrote it all down today. I built the, contact, the house today. Um, I wanted to, but the Sims, this is what I was going to tell you a moment ago. You want to give them just off the wall traits. You don't want to give them traits that's going to help their, help them in achievements or anything. We're looking for Sims that ain't high level in, you. I mean, not high level, but you don't want them to have any skills when you start. You just want them to be brand new Sims. And you can give them any trait you want to, but I wouldn't give them any trait that's going to benefit to help them in the challenge for his sports and riding and telling jokes and stuff like that. What I done was give them off the wall traits, like uh, I made them maybe insane and all of them good. And I mean, just traits that you haven't used or that you don't normally use to level Sim up with. That's the kind of traits that I gave them. So all these have got like different traits. Let's just go through the traits if we can for just a moment. I need to find them. Here he is. Blair is cheerful, neat, outgoing, and domestic. So that's the traits I gave him. He's cheerful, outgoing, and neat. So none of this is really going to benefit him in doing this challenge. So that's the kind of sim we're looking for. And Glenn has cheerful, bookworm, and good. So none of the challenges that we do has anything to do with reading. Uh, we have some writing, but doesn't have anything to do with reading. So, uh, so these are the traits that I gave him. And um, Natasha is cheerful. She's a snob. She's a dance machine. And we, she's a quick learner, which might may or may not benefit her i don't know but uh, i'm mainly basing it on these here the dance machine the cheerful and the snob um i don't even know if these any, makes any difference or not but anyway that way uh we don't have no challenges that has anything to do with dancing so she'll be good there and we have brandy which is over here and i gave her cheerful good and a music lover we don't have any challenges for music so That'll be good. And Jason, we've got him cheerful, outgoing, and he's a bit lazy. Uh, this shouldn't hurt him any in the challenges that we're doing. Um, we have got Michael, and he is cheerful, outgoing, and romantic. So, and we have got um, Lucy, which is a vegetarian, outgoing, and self-assured. So, uh, that was just like random traits that I gave them all, and I didn't want to give them nothing that would help them any to get ahead of anybody else. So that's the traits I gave them. And the names, I picked out all the names myself, but the Sims are all random. So whatever clothes they're wearing is all random. I didn't fix their outfits. And I hope that they got winter clothing and summer clothing. But I'm probably not going to let them outside a lot. Uh, once I get them in the house, I'm going to lock them in because... When I was trying to do it a moment ago, it, there was all little swim. So, anyway, this is my set of Sims, and I did make me some pictures of them, and the with their names and the and what contestant number they are. 
So we're going to go ahead and start. Let's just go ahead and tour the house. So this is the house I built them. I built two long swimming pools because I actually thought about making a challenge for them to swim laps, but I changed my mind and didn't. I really didn't know how it would work. But I put yoga mats out here, but that's not going to be a challenge either. It's kind of just something to give them something to do uh, while the challenge is, is not going on. While they're on campus, it gives them something to do while they're on campus. So this is kind of like a contestant camp. And it's kind of like, I guess, a game show. I don't know. I, I'm making it up as I go. So what I'm going to do is let you tour the house. So this is the little sitting area I made for everyone. Plenty of chairs for them to sit in. We've got a bookcase over here for them to read if they get bored. And we have uh, showers here, eight showers in case all of them get to want to take a shower at the same time. There are plenty enough showers for them. This year is the punching bags that we will do a challenge with. And here are the computers, and we will do a challenge with them. We have eight of each. This is the restrooms. Uh, part of them. There's another part on the other side. I just left the zincs on the outside, which I thought would be all right. They have a very large dining table. All eight of them can sit here if they want to, to have their lunch or dinner or whatever they're having. Um, I made bar stools, but there's not eight. There's only five. But anyways. They never sit where we want them to sit anyways. Okay, so uh, I made, I put in here a little kitchen like they've got the fridge, the sink, the stove. They can cook and, you know, do whatever they need to. I didn't put in a dishwasher, but you can if you download the lot, you can add a dishwasher. I just didn't add one. I really didn't think about it. But they've got a popcorn maker and a microwave for food, coffee, in case they want to stay up all night and not get the rest while they're doing their challenges. Um, this year, this is part, uh, not part of the challenge, but what it is is the is the uh, restorium stations, the podiums. I want them to debate, and this is not to be drawn. I mean, this is like a a tiebreaker. Say if you have three or four sims that are tied and you will do this challenge to untime because this challenge here gives them 40 points. So it should un un break, untie break a lot of them if they're tied up. So objective of the game is to get to 100 points. You need 100 points. There's six challenges that have six points apiece. So that's 60. But the way this is working is you will need 100. You will need 100 points to win the contest. So, you draw, you put, uh, there's six challenges, so you put six numbers into randomizer, or you put, uh, roll a dice to get your six numbers, or you can do like I've done, I actually wrote them on a piece of paper and folded them up and put them in a cup, and I'm just going to draw them out and throw them back in there when I'm done with them. But what I'll do is I'll draw one out, whichever one I draw out is the one that I, the, the Sims will do, and whoever is the longest on it, or whatever the challenge says, whoever does it, what the challenge says is the winner of the challenge. This year is not in the drawing. This is number seven. There's no number seven, so this is not in the drawing. All this is for is a tiebreaker. So we're going to lock this door for everyone because no one needs to be in here unless we're going to unbreak their ties. So you need, so you may have to do, you may do, I put six challenges in here, but you may do five of them all, you know, you may do the same five all the time. It's whatever number you draw out is what you'll be doing. So, uh, and you'll only use this for tiebreakers. If somebody's tied at a hundred, then you'll use this podium, these podiums, and you'll put your people there. If all eight of them's tied, then you'll put all eight of them here, and and whoever last is the longest wins. Whoever debates the longest wins the 40 points, and it unbreaks them. This is the bread room I created. I actually didn't think it would work. I didn't think all the Sims would sleep in here, but they do. So it's actually one bedroom with eight beds, and all of our contestants sleep in here. Now, all your contestants 
I made four boys and four girls, but your contestants can be uh, eight girls or eight boys. It doesn't matter on the on that. I just made four of each. I thought it gave it a little more oomph. I don't know really, but that's what I made was four each. But you can make them however you can make. Just as long as they are all young adults or all adults or all elderly. You don't want to mix and match the their age. You want to keep them pretty much the same. So that's got this side of the house. So we'll go. We've got the computer here and it's for writing. I'll go through what the challenges are. We've got the punching bags here for when they do this challenge. We have the uh, weightlifting here for when they do this challenge. This painting challenge, I hope they that it works. I don't know that it will, uh, but I set it up and I first thought whoever lasted the longest painting, but as soon as they get done painting, they'll be done. So I'm going to make it, I guess. I don't know how that'll work, but I may have to change this to something else, but I'm going to fix it. I mean, I want to have it to where whoever finished their painting first gets the 10 points. So each, like I said, each point is 10 points. Okay, this is the joke, joke mics. Uh, when this number is drawn, they'll come in here and all of them will tell jokes until the last one stands. And the last one stands will be the winner. And this is your treadmills. And the same will be with the treadmills. Uh, if you draw this number, then everybody will get on the treadmill. And the last one on the treadmill will be the winner for the 10 points. All of them is 10 points except for the tiebreaker and the tiebreaker is 40 points. So hopefully that gets anybody untied. Like I said, I haven't done it so I don't really know if it'll work. I don't know if my math will work. This is the other restroom on this end of the house and I only put restrooms and showers uh, because it, you know, it's like a challenge so I didn't think we needed all separate bathrooms so I just put showers and restrooms so this also has an up up uh, a loft in it kind of like and upstairs uh, I put a dance floor in here from you know just to hang out when the challenge is not going on and I'll explain a little bit more about that later I made them some juice uh, bars so they could make drinks if they wanted to mix drinks I almost thought I would have to add a challenge to mixing drinks and then I thought of the painting, so I hope the painting works. But anyway, they can just kind of hang out here, dance, and, and they can actually hire somebody to come in and DJ for them if they want to. It, uh, you can have people on the lot. It's probably better that you don't have people on the lot on the days you're doing the challenges. The way I'm going to set the challenge up is you do three challenges over three days. So you'll do a challenge each day. You'll take two days off, and then you'll do the other three challenges which is six challenges. Uh, you may have to do more than that to get to 100 though. So, but anyway, it'll be three challenges, two days off, three challenges, two days off, three challenges. So it'll just go like that. So I hope I hope I can, hope that understands. I hope I explained it well enough. But I'll write it all up. If anybody wants to try it themselves, I'll write it all up and put it on the forums. You just have to leave me a comment below and let me know. Uh, okay, the objective, like I said, is to be the first one to get to 100 points and to win the contest. So if we have a tie, so we have a tiebreaker uh, set up to do the tiebreaking. Uh, what we, what you would do is you would pick your, you know, get your six numbers, roll a dice to get your six numbers, put it in the randomizer to get your six numbers, just one through six and randomize them and or like I said like I done I just wrote them on a piece of paper and folded them up and throw my six numbers in a in a pot so I could draw them out in a little cup so if I draw out number one that would be the treadmill and if you if the treadmill challenge is whoever stays on the treadmill the longest wins 10 points and then if you draw a number two uh, it's the microphone and it's to tell jokes. Whoever tells the jokes the longest is the winner of the 10 points. If you draw a number three, 
It's the training bag, the punching bag. Whoever lasts longest on the punching bag uh, it wins the 10 points. So that would be the first three, and then you would take a two-day break. And this is just kind of like, I don't want it to get boring to you or nothing, so you just take a two-day break and have your soon to meet people or whatever. I don't know if I would have anybody on the lot if while I was doing the challenges, but it's fine if you want to throw a party on your two days and bring everybody over, just unlock the doors and let them in. Uh, there's only two doors. You're looking at them now. These two doors is the only two doors to the to the uh, to the build. So it's that's it. They only come in and out these doors. So you can lock these doors. If you want to keep your sims in, just lock these doors. If you want to keep Sims out, just lock these doors. That's what I plan on doing is locking the doors. Okay, after your two-day break, you're back into doing your challenges. Like I said, do one challenge a day because I don't know how long it'll take for them to actually... The painting would probably be the fastest one, but I don't know how long it would take them to do the challenges. So after your two-day break, you would go to number... the num If you, you rolled your dice or drawed your number out, and if you hit number four... It would be the writing. So you would actually practice writing until whichever one give up. Until the last one writing is the winner of the 10 points. So you practice writing until, you know, until you, uh, until the last one stands and you win the 10 points. If you draw to number five, would be the painting. So the first one to finish the painting would be the winner of the 10 points. I think that will work that way. If it don't, I may have to add something else in that room besides painting. But I'll try it if I and see if it works or not. And number six is the power fit, the big uh, weightlifting things. And if you draw a number six, you would be doing these. You would be doing the power fit. And whoever stays on it the longest will be the winner of the ten points. And then if you've got 60 points out of those six challenges, so you'd probably have to do three more. So it's still based on whatever number you draw. So you'd take two days off after the sixth one. The sixth time, uh, you know, the next three days, you'd take two days off, and then you'd start your next three days. So just continue until you get the 100 points until you find your winner. And I actually set up a big movie screen back here to watch movies if... You know, pop popcorn, watch movies to get their fun up or whatever. Put them on a little game table here in case they wanted to play games on their leisure time. Um, but really, it's just basically drawing the number and then seeing who is going to last the longest on whatever or finish the first on whatever the rule says. So, this is, I have learned from experience of my little trial run a while ago, is that you have to go in here and you have to set your uh, gameplay autonomy to off. You set it to off to get them to go to the room you want them to go to for whatever number you draw. And you set it to off and then you get them to go to that room. And you get them in that room and put them to where you need them to be. And then you turn your put your autonomy back on full. Because they'll have to be back on full in order to do the high free to do the free will, in order to stop whatever they're doing themselves. So once you get them in the room, you just turn this back to full, and then hit apply changes, and then you're back to going back to game, back to whatever whatever challenge you've got them doing. They're back to doing it. So, without further ado, if I explained it well enough, let's try one. I tried one a while ago. It didn't go the best ever was. But anyways, I'm still recording, so we'll try one. Hopefully, it don't last very long, but we'll see. My voice sounds like it's about to go out. Okay, I'm going to shake my little cup, and I'm going to draw my number. Let's Before I draw my number, let's get them all in the house. Let's go ahead and have them all to go here. Because if we don't, yeah, they won't swim. Right off the bat. Okay. We're going to get them all. I'm going to get them all inside, and I'm going to lock the door so they can't go back out. If they can all get in here at the same time without...
turning back around and walking back out the door. Come on, lovely contestants. Oh, I've got a surprise, too. And door shut, please. Lock door for everyone. Okay. And I have a little surprise. I made a picture for them. Uh, oops. I'm going to go ahead and lock these doors, too, so they don't get him out here. I don't want him to get ahead of anybody else. I should have went ahead and locked them all a minute ago, but I forgot it. We don't want him doing anything unless we draw for him to do it. They can have their fun out here in the main, the main place. Definitely lock this door. They already had it locked. Okay, got all of them locked except this one. So let's go ahead and get these guys out here. No, guys, come on. Get out here. Okay, let the door shut. Shut doors. Okay, now we don't want them to do anything with our challenges unless we draw the number for them to do it. So, they, their needs. Every one of them should have the same needs. So this is going to just kind of be what it's going to be. So what we'll do is I'm going to draw my number. Shut them all up. I'm going to draw me a number out. Make sure I got one. And I got the number six. So let's see what the number six is. Okay, the parafit. Whoever lasts the longest on the parapet wins the 10 points. So I'm going to fold my number 6 up and stick it back in the little pot. So we're going to do number 6 first. Okay, let's... I need to do this. hope I don't run this over. I hope I ain't forgot to tell anybody anything. I think I've, I hope I've explained it well. So this is going to be challenge one. It's going to be the power fit for 10 points. So since everybody's where they need to be, let's go ahead and get our autonomy. Turn off and apply changes. And we've got our number six, so we're going to go ahead and save. And we're going to unlock this door. And we're going to have everyone to go here. Okay. And let's unpause it. Oh, I forgot to hang their pictures. Get everybody in here. Get everybody in here and we'll see. We'll go ahead and lock the door for everyone just till I can get them set up here. Um, I want to hang their pictures somewhere. I made them all pictures. For, you know, like the contestants that's doing it this time around. Should I hang them in there? Where should I hang them? Actually, I didn't leave no room to hang anything, did I? In my picture craze. Maybe I could hang them on this wall here. Let me just go ahead and get them. So I made these myself so uh, they won't be in the build when it's when you download it. Let's go ahead and get our decorations and here they are. Here's all of our contestants. Oh, I really wanted to put it on a good wall. Oh, I could put it in this room. I think so. Yeah. So, I could actually let this picture not stay. Okay. Let's just make them 
regular-sized then, so they won't have a problem setting by each other. So there's three. I'll go ahead and delete this picture. We ain't got you missing. There we go. That's our contestants for this time. This this challenge. This game show challenge. This is our contestants here. So it's we've got a picture of them and their name on it and what contestant number they are. Okay, we got that done. Okay, let's go back to get our little sins where we want them. Oh yeah. Down here. Okay. Start with him. Work out, work out, work out, work out, work out. Work out, work out, and work out. Let's get them all on me. Any time now. And let's stop right there. I want to save this in case it messes up. I like it will. Now, when I have them to work out, I'm going to put their autonomy back on full. So whoever quits first, or whoever's the last one going, is the winner of the 10 points. So we're putting this back on so they'll have high free will. And they can decide when they want to stop. And we can unlock the door for them. Okay. Here we go. With the first challenge. And it is the power fit challenge. And we're just going to have them to work out until whichever one gets tart stops. Oh, she's got a hat on her head. She's got her cap on. Like I said, I didn't do any of the outfits. I just let them do their stuff. Now they're going to chat instead of doing their workout. This could be a problem. Uh -huh. I turned the volume down because a while ago, when I was, when I was doing the test run, they were all doing the jokes. It was blah, 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 and I couldn't hear nothing. I turned it down. <gasps> He's done quit? What, who is he? Jason? Jason has done already quit? What's wrong with him? Oh, because he's lazy. Oh my gosh, I should have gave him a lazy trait. So he's out of it. He's done quit. Jason, you can go on over here. Don't need to be bothering everybody else. So we, Jason's out, so we're going to lock the door because I don't want him back in there talking to them. I messed up with him, but oh well. We'll see. Let's unlock and then just lock it for. Where's Jason? lock it for him. That way he can't come back in. He'll just have to go be his lazy self somewhere else. Okay, one's down. Let's see. Oh my gosh. Whoa, whoa. Did they all quit? So we've got Blair's quit. See, he got up first, so Glenn has quit. 
Brian has quit, Blair has quit, and Natasha has quit. So let's just go ahead and get those here. Another one's quit. Uh, oh my gosh! They all quit. Is Michael's the last one. So everybody quit except for Michael. Okay, so Michael is the winner of the ten points for this challenge. Good thing you lasted. All I can say, Michael. Few more seconds, you might have been the one who got up before they did. Alrighty, so that was challenge one. And let's let the door shut back and we'll just lock it so no one else can get in there. See, lock for everyone. Oops. Go ahead and get out, girl. Okay, so that was the first challenge, and Michael won that challenge. Where's he at? Michael, you, you've got 10 points. So Mr. Lazy Bones, but there's other things Mr. Lazy can do. He could probably win. It's like the jokester, he could probably win the jokester, the writing, he could probably practice writing. I mean, and then painting, he may be the first one to stop painting. First one finished. So there's a lot of other things that he could do that he could win. But, note to self, probably won't give anybody a lazy trait when they're doing this challenge. Okay, so Michael got the 10 points for that channel challenge. So I am going to stop here and let the Sims replenish. And, oh, they're playing cards. That's so awesome. I love this in Sims too. Um, so they're playing cards and a couple of them are watching TV. So I am going to stop here. I hope I explained it well. If anybody would like to do the challenge, I'm actually going to write the challenge up. And so if you would like to do it, just let me know and we will, I will get it to you in print so you kind of know what the rules are. And, or you can just follow along with me and you can just kind of go the way I just done it. I mean, it's pretty much the way they all are except for the painting. And I hope the painting works, but We'll have to draw it first to see. So anyways, I'm going to end it here. Thank you all for watching. Have a great evening, day, night, morning. And I appreciate it. If you like this series and want to see more, give me a thumbs up. Thank you.